What if I told you there's an invisible string connecting Taylor Swift and NFL star Travis Kelsey? From shared birth years to uncanny coincidences, let's unravel the mysterious connection between these two stars. Welcome back, Swifties and sports fans. Today, we're exploring the fascinating links between pop superstar Taylor Swift and football legend Travis Kelsey. Buckle up as we dive into the coincidences and connections that might just make you believe in fate. First up, both Taylor and Travis were born in 1989. This shared birth year is just the tip of the iceberg in their intertwined destinies. This is significant because it's not often that we see celebrity couples share the same birth year, so we know that this one must be something special. Here's a fun numerological fact. Travis's football jersey number is 87, and Taylor's iconic birthday number is 13. Together, they add up to 100, a perfect score in any game. This is huge because Taylor has always loved the number 13, and the fact that they add up to a perfect 100 is something to really look into, considering Taylor is notorious for her Easter eggs. Back in 2015, during her reputation tour, Taylor took a picture with a Chiefs poster in the background. Around the same time, Chase Daniel, who helped Travis score his first touchdown, gave Taylor a Chiefs jersey. Coincidence or a hint of things to come? In her song, Daylight, Taylor sings, I once believed love would be burning red, but it's golden. The Chiefs colors? Red and gold. This lyrical coincidence ties back to the team that holds significance for both stars. The color gold can also play a huge role into celebrity relationships. I have a good feeling this is Taylor's keeper, and they just so happen to be golden in love with each other too. Both Taylor and Travis are known for their archer pose. Taylor incorporates it into her performances, and Travis strikes it on the field, a symbolic gesture of aiming for their goals. The Archer, a song by Taylor Swift from her 2019 album Lover, delves into themes of vulnerability, self-reflection, and the complexities of relationships. The song features introspective lyrics where Swift examines her insecurities and fears, portraying herself as both the hunter and the hunted, the archer and the prey. This duality symbolizes her internal struggles and the challenges she faces in love and life. We can definitely see the parallels as Swift enters this new relationship with Kelsey and her 2019 song, The Archer, which explains an early stage relationship so well. In 2019, Selena Gomez, one of Taylor's closest friends, met Travis at a charity event. This connection adds another thread to the intricate web linking Taylor and Travis. Taylor Swift and Selena Gomez have been friends since around 2008. Their friendship quickly blossomed, and they have remained close ever since, supporting each other through various personal and professional milestones over the years. Their long-lasting friendship is often highlighted in interviews and public appearances, showcasing their strong bond. A nod from Selena Gomez means Taylor has chosen a keeper, and we hope it stays that way. Arrowhead Stadium is a significant location for both Taylor and Travis. This location is where Travis made a friendship bracelet for Taylor and dreamed of meeting her. Taylor sings about streetlights pointed in an arrowhead in Cornelia Street from her album, Lover. Taylor performed at Arrowhead for the first time on September 24th, and she attended Travis's game in the same stadium on September 24th. These shared dates further intertwine their stories. Taylor sings after the storm, something was born on the 4th of July in her song, End Game. Travis attended her concert and made her a bracelet a day after this line's significance, showcasing his admiration. The title End Game refers to the ultimate goal or desired outcome in a relationship. It suggests that the people involved are looking for something significant and enduring rather than a fleeting romance. Given Swift's high profile status, the song reflects the balance between maintaining a public image and nurturing a private, meaningful relationship. It highlights the complexities that come with being in the spotlight while trying to build a lasting connection. The song touches on the idea of overcoming personal and external challenges to achieve a strong and lasting bond. This includes dealing with public scrutiny, personal insecurities, and past experiences that might impact the relationship. The fact that Travis took the time to make a bracelet for Taylor, because he knows how special these little moments are to her even before meeting her, means he cares a lot about her, and that is something that no one can be taught in a relationship. One of Taylor's dancers, Cameron, 
has a brother who played on the Chiefs with Travis, providing yet another link between their worlds. Who know? There could be so many small connections between a pop star like Taylor Swift and a football player like Travis Kelsey. I think it really is a romance that was meant to take place. In the public eye, both Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey have led busy and high-profile lives. Swift, with her extensive music career and tours, and Kelsey, with his commitments as a professional NFL player, would have had to navigate significant personal and professional commitments to foster a relationship. Post Malone, who has a tattoo of Travis's signature, is featured on Taylor's song, Fortnite, from her new album, The Tortured Poets Department. In 2023, Travis danced to Love Story after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. In 2024, Kelsey danced to Love Story with Taylor after winning the Super Bowl. The song's lyrics recount a tale of young love facing obstacles, mirroring the classic story of Romeo and Juliet, but with a twist. Unlike Shakespeare's tragic ending, Swift's version culminates in a joyful union. The song captures the universal emotions of young love, including excitement, longing, and the desire for acceptance. Swift's portrayal of these feelings resonates with listeners, making the song relatable and emotionally impactful. This twist appeals to listeners' romantic ideals and hope for love conquering all. These moments are huge indicators that this isn't just a one-time romance, but could be the start of a lifelong true love story, which we are all here for and love so much. From shared birth years to symbolic gestures, the connections between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are numerous and uncanny. Whether it's fate or just a series of remarkable coincidences, the invisible string between them is undeniably fascinating. The invisible string connecting Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey is a testament to the magic of unexpected connections and shared moments. Their stories, though different, beautifully intersect in ways that captivate fans worldwide. Their relationship is in the public eye a lot of the time, but it goes to show that even if you're a celebrity with a busy schedule, you will make time with the people you love because they matter most. Taylor and Travis have been able to make time for each other, despite both having very busy schedules. As we continue to follow along on this journey, I am excited to see this relationship blossom and take hold of everything to come with these two great human beings and public figures. The idea of a relationship between a pop superstar and an NFL athlete has brought together fans from both the music and sports worlds. This crossover has generated excitement and conversations among a diverse group of fans who may not typically follow both industries. Both Swift and Kelsey are admired for their achievements and work ethic. The idea of them being together sets an example of a successful, high-achieving couple, which can be inspiring for fans who look up to them as role models. What do you think of the connections between Taylor and Travis? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories and connections. See you next time.